In this world, you need to do whatever you can to survive. Oh my god, I wiped my ass with this hand. Oh, that's disgusting! Hey everybody, my name is Ryan and welcome to the review. Today we're going to be looking at The Last of Us, which came out last year. Obviously there might be some spoilers, so if you don't really feel like listening to them, here's your warning. The Last of Us offers a cold glass of water in an industry that forces us to have soda and alcohol. Most games that have an apocalyptic vibe go on the beaten path of nuclear destruction or zombies. The Last of Us offers a unique spin on something that could actually happen in the next hundred years or so. You see, the fall of civilization in this game comes from Ophiocordyceps uni a fungus that is found in tropical rainforests. It already affects ants and has even been found in rodents, so look out humanity. The Last of Us is seriously one of the most heartbreaking introductions to a game I've ever seen. With me. I want to pick you up. I know, baby. I know it hurts. Come on, baby. Please. I know, baby. I know. Sarah. Baby. Fast forward 20 years and we have a very weathered Joel, who's given the task of moving cargo, which turns out to be Ellie. Long story short, you end up having to escort this little brat over 2,000 miles to safety. You're told that she is the cure to fix mankind, but the question at hand would be, is mankind worth saving? This game has been universally praised, and I can easily tell why. The amazing voice acting from the leads Ashley Johnson and Troy Baker, as well as the phenomenal support they had from the other actors in the production. You get her to tell me, sir. Aside from the voice actors in the game, what really drove the emotional feel of the entire game for me was the music composed by Gustavo Santoalalala. And man, when that theme plays, you might just have to take a deep breath and remember that everything's gonna end up being alright. The visuals in this game are also top notch. They pushed the PS3 to its limits graphically, and now with the remastered edition on the PS4, it's arguably the best looking game on the entire system. When the designs in a game are all you can think of when you try to picture the apocalypse, you know that its level design is phenomenal. I honestly don't know what else I could say to give this game praise that hasn't already been said yet. The Last of Us is realistic. Here's where we run into a few problems. While the game does a fantastic job portraying a realistic take on the apocalypse, all this can be forgotten in the midst of the allies AI. You know what's not right? Left? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's awesome. In conclusion, The Last of Us is a must play. Whether you're tough enough to play on your own, or whether you need the support of a friend behind you, this game could definitely be in a library of any gamer's all-time favorites. I swear. I'm Ryan, and this has been a Rypod Review. Thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe to catch my next review where I'll be taking a look at Dead Island, and we can finally figure out whether the game's good or not.